Hey everyone, today I am back doing another video. This video is going to be in kind of an unboxing, but mostly first impressions of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics and the Manny MUA collaboration. I am so excited to do this and please give this video a thumbs up for my personal strength because I got this in the mail a couple weeks ago and I have not touched them at all. I have not swatched them. The only thing I did is I obviously, I already opened it just to make sure like everything was intact and like everything was in in here, if that makes any sense, but I haven't swatched them or anything. So please just give this video a thumbs up just for that because I have been going stir crazy the last couple weeks. And I've been wanting to film this video forever, obviously, so I could swatch these and try these out, but I just haven't had time to film until now. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. Now I got the bundle pack. Um, in total, uh, Manny MUA and Jeffree Star Cosmetics, they collaborated on two liquid lipsticks and then a highlighter. So I ended up getting the bundle. So all three are in here. So yeah, I believe that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna go ahead and start openings for you guys and start this little first impression. So if you would like to see uh, my thoughts on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics and the Manny MUA uh, collaboration, then just keep on watching. Now I must say, when I first heard that they were collaborating, I I was so excited because I love Jeffree Star and I love Manny. Like, and even them together, I love when they do videos together because they're so hilarious. Two of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube, like, so I was so excited when I heard that they were going to be collaborating and coming out with some liquid lipsticks and a highlighter, so I had to get the bundle. The whole bundle, I think, was like $50, I believe. Um, I ended up spending a little bit more on the site because I ended up getting a lip scrub and a sweatshirt. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the bundle by itself was like 50 bucks, um, a little bit more because of shipping and stuff. And I don't know if these are in stock anymore. They're honestly probably not. I think it sold out like within like the first day. I don't know if they still have like singles of stuff, but um, yeah, so that's basically all that I know, pricing-wise and everything like that. So yeah, just a little close-up. This is what the um, packaging looks like. Just the little moon, which is kind of like Manny's logo. And then, of course, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo. This is just the back. Sorry, I'm already getting it very dirty. And then there's just, like, uh, information, like, social media and website down at the bottom. And then this is just, like, a little sleeve. So go ahead and open this up. And then this is what this box or packaging looks like. Again... Uh, kind of just uh, Manny's little logo and then the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo. Again, a nice black color. And then the back just looks like that as well. Just to start with the packaging, I love the packaging. It's very nice looking. I love the black and like the little like um, holographic logo or whatever you would call that. I think it's really nice. And the actual packaging like this box, it's like nice and sturdy and it has like a little... Um, I can get it a little like magnet uh, closure yeah love the packaging and then to open this box where all the goodies are inside you just flip obviously the magnet part up and voila there is the two liquid lipsticks on the side obviously and then you have the highlighter in the middle again even the packaging on the outside of this stuff Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Super gorgeous. I just absolutely love it. I think they did a really great job choosing the packaging for everything. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take all of the uh, products out of this box and open them up so you guys can see like the colors and names and what the actual like the actual packaging looks like, if that makes any sense. I'll start opening the liquid lipsticks first. First, let's start with the shade Daddy, which is a more nude shade. This is the shade Daddy. As you can see, again, the packaging, the black, gorgeous. Absolutely love it. So that's just what Daddy looks like right there. And I'm also, I'm going to be swatching like the highlighter on my cheeks, or on basically my entire face. <laughs> and then I'm also going to be swatching the liquid lipsticks on my lips so you guys can see what the color looks like a little bit better. But yeah, that's just what Daddy looks like in the tube. And then the next shade is I'm Shook um, for the liquid lipstick, the second liquid lipstick. And this one is more of like a pinky looking color. As you can see that all right. Yeah, those are what the two liquid lipsticks look like. Um, again, love the packaging, like the black at the top and just like the logo, like 
super gorgeous packaging love that so now let's move on to the highlighter which is in the shade eclipse and this is probably my favorite packaging like the matte black it's just so sleek and classy i just absolutely love that and then of course like the holographic logo and then here's just the back that tells you like the name and everything like that and then just to open the highlighter so you guys can see that is what the highlighter looks like. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to try this out. Like it looks gorgeous. And of course it has the um, collaboration logo in the middle. So yes, those are just kind of what all the pa uh, products look like. Um, still five out of five stars for me for right now, but let's go ahead and get to swatching them, which is probably the most important part. All right, so I'm gonna start uh, swatching with the liquid lipsticks and the first shade that or the first liquid lipstick that I'm going to be swatching for you guys is Daddy. So I'll just give this a shake. And I should probably get a lip liner out. Um, that'll probably make it a little bit easier to <laughs> apply this on my lips. So one second. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> maybe I'm not going to use a lip liner. I cannot get the cap off. Like, is this a joke? Are you seeing this right now? Why can't? Why is this not coming off? All right, screw the lip liner. We're just going to go ahead and apply the liquid lipsticks and just hopefully the application is not too messy. So that's what daddy looks like. It's still drying down to matte and I'm so sorry about the lighting. I feel like it looks really weird right now, but this is what it looks like. If you can see it all great, love this color. I feel like it's kind of similar to um, Posh Spice, but like different at the same time. I don't really know how else to explain it, but love this liquid lipstick because Posh Spice is probably one of my favorites from Jeffree Star. So um, yeah, I just absolutely love this nude and just dark nudes in general I'm obsessed with. Um, it applied quite easily. I used uh, one coat just for my top lip and then I applied two coats to my bottom lip. So yeah, I didn't experience like any like uh, patchiness. It wasn't hard to spread around or anything like that. I thought the application was pretty easy. Um, Applying a couple of coats, that's not really a big deal to me. I usually do that no matter what kind of liquid lipstick I'm using or uh, lipstick, anything like that. So that's not a big deal to me. And yeah, now that it's uh, really starting to like dry down to matte, it is a gorgeous color and I don't see any issues um, with the application like patchiness or anything like that now that it is basically completely dry. So yeah, overall, love this color. I have no complaints about it. It's probably gonna be my favorite color out of the two liquid lipstick shades just because I just love darker nudes. So I got most of um, Daddy off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch I'm Shook. And again, I'm not even gonna mess around with the lip liner because for some reason it is not opening. I don't know what that is about. So hopefully the application won't be too messy. So that's what I'm shook look like. Again, it's still uh, drying out, but I am super impressed with this color. Like, as you can tell when I was like applying it, my reaction, like I was not expecting it to like be this gorgeous. Yeah, this is just a really gorgeous color and I feel like I can't even like explain it. Like it is like a, I don't know. It's like a pinky 
red color. I just, I'm really happy with the color. I was a little worried that I was going to have like other lipsticks that were like similar to this shade, but I really don't think I do. Like this is really a unique color and I feel like I can't even really describe it. Um, but now it's starting to dry down. I think it is completely dry down, I would say. So that's what I'm shook looks like. I love the shade. Now I don't even know if I can say that Daddy's my favorite out of the two because I really love both of them. This one definitely shocked me the most. Like I already knew I was gonna love Daddy, but I wasn't really sure. I knew I would like this one, but I didn't know if I was gonna be like obsessed with it. I'm definitely obsessed with it. So yeah, overall applying this shade, I did one coat on the top and one coat on the bottom. So I didn't have to use as many coats to apply this as I did Daddy, but that's not really a big deal to me. Again, just like with Daddy, this was really easy to apply. There's really no patchiness. And when I was applying it, there was no patchiness as well. But yeah, overall, both of these liquid lipsticks are five out of five stars for me. I really, I don't have any complaints about them. If I had to point out one con, um, maybe with Daddy, it did take a little bit, uh, it took more coats to get like a good coverage on, um, all over the lips compared to I'm Shook, but for me personally, that's not a big deal. So maybe if that's a big deal to you, that's something to keep in mind, but I don't really consider that a con, but on that, yeah, that's basically just a personal choice. So yeah, I re other than that, I really have no concern about these liquid lipsticks. Absolutely love them. Super impressed with them and so glad that I now have them. All right, and lastly for this Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Manny MUA collaboration, it's time to move on to the highlighter and apply it on our cheeks. Now I have heard amazing things about this highlighter from other people and I have been so excited to apply it. So yeah, just by looking at it, I think it's gonna be more of like a goldish highlighter, but like it's a lighter color. So I think it could really work on um, lighter uh, skin tones. But of course I haven't applied it yet. That's just uh, from first looking at it. So let's go ahead and apply this highlighter. Right, so that is what the highlighter eclipse looks like as you can see on the cheeks love this highlighter i definitely had to build it up because the first application of it it definitely was there as you could see uh, from when i was applying it the first application but i personally i like to build my highlighters up because i like to glow if you know what i mean the first application of eclipse it was definitely there it was pigmented but for me personally it just wasn't popping as much as i usually like my highlighters to pop um for me personally once again that's not really a big deal because i do that with all highlighters just because i love highlighters and i just love to go like ape shit on my face when it comes to highlighters and so applying the second um coat I guess you could say of the highlighter it definitely took it to where I like my highlighters to go it's so gorgeous definitely uh layering on more coats of highlighter it you know it blends beautifully it doesn't look um patchy or you know crappy for lack of a better word at all I just love this highlighter and now that it's actually on the cheeks I feel like it is a different color compared to how it looks in the pan. Uh, I feel like it's not really a gold color. I'd say it's more of like a silver color. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it really on camera because my light, my lighting is always crappy. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's like a silver color, which I absolutely love. I think it is gorgeous. Oh, and another thing, I guess this could kind of be as a con, there is a little bit of fallout with this highlighter. Like when I was tapping off the excess, it did obviously get on like the mirror and like kind of all around the pan. And then there is a little bit 
on my table in front of me. So that's something to keep in mind, but I mean, for me, that's not really a big deal. Really nothing is a big deal. <laughs> To me, I'm really, I'm not a picky person. I'm easy to please, but I just feel like when you get powders of any kind, there's gonna be some sort of fallout, if you know what I mean. So that's not a huge deal. And it's not like too much. So overall, it just, it's just a gorgeous highlight color. I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. All right, everybody, so that is my first impression slash unboxing, sort of, of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Manny MUA collaboration. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And also, if there's anything, any points that I might have missed in this video that you have questions about, like the products, how they apply, um, packaging, whatever it may be, just make sure to leave those in the comments down below, just in case I missed any information that you're still wondering about. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to get going for now and film some more videos for you guys. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.